does anybody want to kind of elaborate on the different, what are the different versions that are currently available? Because there are basically three main versions that you can imagine. So let's start the classic, s hana on-premise, which means s hana When we talk about s hana we not only usually mean the family, we usually mean the on-premise version, which means you can install that thing wherever you want to. We had even a customer that put it on a truck. <laughs> there was a fun demo, actually, uh, to have this thing on a truck because um, the, the leading project manager asked us, can I, can I drive around with it? And we just said outside here, truck, this is worth running. So it was a defense customer. But yeah, you can run it literally any way you like. And that was a requirement they had. Uh, they also can, you can modify it. It is really literally on premise. This is yours. Uh, license model means that you then pay maintenance, but you can change it as, not as you like it, but um, there are restrictions, I think. I don't know. But it is very wide, super, super versatile. And how, what do you want to do with it? So that is the classic that where we come from R3 and R2 as well. Um, the second thing is that uh, we're talking cloud. So when SAP talks about Espahana cloud, we have two different versions that are significantly different. One is um, it takes the application for an on-premise. This is why sometimes there's a little bit of a confusion in it, but it runs in the cloud. So you have landscape as a service. Uh, all the landscape features in it are cloud. Uh, you don't run it on your own premises. You can run it any way you like. Uh, you get a list from from the data centers where you can like run it from, whether it is, for example, Amazon or um, um, Google. Uh, so you have these multipliers that you can run it from. Even SAP obviously can run it from, mm -hmm. but it's it's called private edition. Uh, it is still very versatile. It has some landscape restrictions because you don't run it yourself. You cannot modify it. And here's the big difference. Once you go into the cloud, you have um, signed up for regular updates and regular upgrades, very importantly. So we encourage you to have a clean core implementation. This is why Activate is in the book. Very, very important because every five years, we basically tell you, now you have to update. Modifications, not a good idea. And in this case, also not really part of the contract. So that slightly subscription? Is yeah. that subscription-based? That is subscription-based, yeah. exactly. This is cloud, this is as a service comes with it, which means now you have some restrictions. I personally don't believe that these are business restrictions because you can still have BTP extensions, you have ABAP extensions, you can still extend the code where needed, you can have side-by-side -side key user, all, all three uh, extensibility models can run it. So your business process, I don't see really from a business perspective that this is a restriction, mm -hmm. but from a operating uh, model, this is different because now we tell you there is a time frame for update. Uh, and on premise, we don't do this. And the third, and that is what people internally and externally very often call as Fauna Cloud, it's the public edition. So no data migration. Uh, not data, no uh, conversion, that's data migration, obviously, sorry. Uh, no migration to it, which means it's a, it's a new implementation. Uh, it will be updated every two weeks. It will be upgraded every three months. Wow. So now this, for those of you familiar with the process, they think, oh, testing and painful and blah and all that. No, no, we guide you through Activate, through Calm, very highly recommended to use Calm in it as well as Activate to have you have a super clean core so that this runs within a couple of hours through. Mm -hmm. um, and also very importantly is you can innovate in the speed that this thing is actually designed for. It's designed that you can have really every three months the latest and greatest of functionality at your fingertips and you can mm -hmm. implement it. You don't have to wait a year, uh, the s application is updated every is an annual basis mm -hmm. s4hana cloud technically every three months so the s4hana cloud public edition is the most agile and versatile version but it comes with a question you have to update it. you have to upgrade 